This video is about loops. A loop is a mechanism that will repeatedly execute a set of statements in order until stopped. In JavaScript and in many other coding languages, there are multiple ways to create loops. Right now, we're going to focus on when you would want to use a loop and the looping function in vidcode called repeat. To explain how a loop works, we're going to use walking as an example, and Sticky is going to help us. To walk, Sticky picks up their right arm and left foot and puts down their right arm and left foot. Then they pick up their left arm and right foot, and they put down their left arm and right foot. Doing that once would let Sticky walk a little, but to keep walking, they'll have to repeat those steps over and over again. If we get Sticky to repeat or loop through our directions, then they'll be walking all over the place. Let's take a look at the repeat function. The repeat function takes two arguments, a function and an interval. If you think back to our definition, the function argument is a set of statements or instructions that will be repeatedly executed in order. In terms of our walking example from earlier, the function would be our walking steps. The interval argument is how many frames we want to wait before executing the function again. With our walking example, this would be how quickly we want Sticky to walk. Here's what the repeat function looks like when you use the repeat block in VidCode. As you can see, the first argument is a function, and after the comma, the second argument is the interval. Let's look at a finished project from the Animoji lesson and see how they used loops. Here they have a text variable that they set to an empty string. They changed the size and the x and y coordinates. And they also have an options array that they filled with the emojis that they want to loop through. They have an index variable that they set to zero and a message property on their text variable that they set to be equal to the options array at the index, which to start is zero. And that references the seed emoji. Then they have a repeat function, which is how they're looping through all the emojis. First argument is the function, and the second argument is the interval. In the function, they start by setting the text to be equal to the options index, which to start is going to be zero, which references the seed emoji. Then they increment the index by one, which is going to increase the index from zero to one. And then they set my text.message equal to options, index modulo the options length. The modulo operator gives you the remainder. So this ensures that they will always have a number between zero and three so that they reference the index of the options array over and over again in a cycle or a loop. Here they're using the modulo operator to always return an index within the options array so they can cycle through all the emojis over and over again. Let's create our own example in VidCode using loops. Here I added a text variable that says everyday I. And what I want to happen is I want to have an array of activities. So it says everyday I eat, sleep, VidCode. And it cycles through all of those over and over again. So I set a variable called activity that is empty because that's the variable that I want to set and I set the Y to be a little bit lower so it doesn't overlap. Now I'm gonna make my activity array or my activities array. So here's my activities that I wanna loop through and my square brackets. I'm gonna write eat, sleep, and vid code. Now I'll need to reference each of the activities items by their index. So I'll create a an index. And we'll start with zero. And then to loop through everything, I'll need a repeat block. So repeat is made up of a function as the first argument and an interval as the second argument. 
what we want to do is set our activity text to be one of the items in this array. So first we'll say activity dot message is how you change the text. Activity dot message equals activities. And I need to reference the index. We're going to start with index zero. So I'll write index there. So now it just says E because it's just referencing the first, the zero index of activities. The first item is at zero index. So if I want it to loop, I'll have to change the index. So we'll say index equals index plus one because we want the index to keep going up. And I can see up here, if I change something and go back, It goes through everything once, but then it stops. So I'm going to use the log function to see what my index is. So here we can see that the index is going up and up and up because every five frames at my interval, I'm adding plus one to the index. But what I need is for the index to stay between zero, one, and two, so I can loop through the indexes, the indices of my activities array. So to do that, I'm going to use the modulo operator, which returns a remainder from a division function. So I'll say index equals index. Um, modulo, which is the percent sign, we'll say activities dot length. And then if we log index again, we can see that it should stay between zero, one, and two always. So there's my loop. Now it says every day I eat, sleep, vid code. And that's one way to use a loop.